Howdy everyone, it's your buddy BP. It is February 19th, 2016, and it is Friday morning, which means that it is Zor Day. Also, uh, in case you haven't heard, uh, Bungie has made announcements as to what kind of gear we can expect next week from the uh, Iron Banner, as well as what game mode. I'll get to that at the end of the video. But first, let's see if we can't uh, find Zor, see what he has for uh, sale for us this weekend. And here he is at the big doors, right outside where the speaker is. Alright, let's take a look at what his inventory is for the week. For you. There is something inside me that wishes to connect. Titans this week will get the Tycho Knot. It has an intellect and discipline build. Its perks include heavy lifting, ashes to assets, and invigoration. Its special ability is Air Traffic Control. All rocket launchers gain tracking, radar remains visible while zooming with heavy weapons, and heavy ammo drops more often. I got this helmet a while back and I haven't had much of a chance to use it, but I'm starting to come around to the idea of using tracking on a uh, rocket launcher. I used to uh, never be too wild about it. I used to uh, prefer grenades and uh, horseshoes, but I've been uh, using tracking a lot more often uh, recently on my rocket launchers and PvP. Uh, I have an ash factory with uh, tripod tracking and it's uh, pretty devastating. And being able to have tracking for all of your rocket launchers is pretty nice. Plus it gives you uh, the third eye ability for all of your uh, all of your heavy weapons, which I suppose is okay, though third eye is not the kind of thing I normally uh, cons would consider using for a heavy weapon. Uh, because heavy weapons are the kind of thing uh, that you can normally just get away from with, uh, firing from the hip. I have tried out the uh, heavy ammo drops, and that does work in a uh, PVE. Uh, it works um, very similar to how the uh, ruin wings work. The thing about the ruin wings, though, is that whenever you pick up a uh, heavy ammo brick uh, with them on, you get bonus ammo. And this thing doesn't give you the bonus ammo. It does give you the tracking and the third eye, which is nice, but you don't get bonus ammo from each brick. And... Uh, the uh, bonus ammo drops uh, has no effect in PvP. I say this is a pretty fun exotic to use, but uh, I really can't see it um, being useful in a PvP because it only works with rocket launchers, and it's um, and because we're talking heavy ammo here, it's kind of situational. You may get heavy ammo, you may not. So I wouldn't use it in PvP. In PvE, it's okay. I would still use Ruin Wings. If you're a collector, I say this is a pretty good roll. And uh, if you have the coins to spare and you don't have it yet, I say pick it up. But if you're short on coins and you're not sure if um, you want it, I, I say it's uh, something you can easily skip as long as you have Ruin Wings. Hunters this week will get the Sky Burners Annex. I believe he sold this not too long ago. Uh, it has an intellect and strength build with a heavy emphasis on intellect. Its other perks include ashes to assets, heavy lifting, and better already. Its exotic perk is versatile shooter. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs of light. Orbs of light that you collect while your super meter is full have a chance to uh, grant you bonus special ammo. The first part is just basically the iron harvest perk from the defender. It works really well with swords and machine guns in, uh, in PvE. In PvP, uh, it's not really that useful of a perk. Uh, but in PvE, uh, this is a really good way to play um, play supportively with your hunter. So if you want to play supportively and say you're just doing a strike or a raid, then this ain't a bad uh, this ain't a bad choice. As far as the uh, bonus special ammo, I haven't done like I haven't like you know sat down and like calculated all the numbers and tested out how often it procs. But when I'm using uh, this helmet, it seems like it procs most of the time, almost about 80% of the time. And it gives you a decent amount of ammo. Like if you're running a shotgun and you pick up an orb, um, then you'll prob uh, probably get maybe like two shots, which isn't bad, but it is dependent on your uh, super uh, not being used at all. So it's up to you um, as to whether or not that's really worth it. I think it's a decent exotic. It's not one I normally use. It is kind of cool looking though. And uh, check it out. It's kind of got all these. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's like blight energy or something that's uh, in there. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and it's a fun way to play uh, supportively with your hunter in PVE. In PVP, it's um, pretty much useless unless you're really desperate for special ammo for whatever you for uh, whatever weapon you're using. Maybe you're using like a pocket uh, pocket infinity or a uh, fourth horseman. 
Uh, but other than that, I say it's very situational and it's not exactly a must-have. Warlocks really lucked out this week. They get Claws of Ahamkara. It has a Discipline and Strength build. Its other perks include Snap Discharge, Momentum Transfer, Sniper Rifle Loader, and Auto Rifle Loader. Its exotic perk is the Whispers, which gives you an additional charge for your Warlock melee ability. And yes, this works for all Warlocks. It works with your, uh, what is it, your Thunderstrike or whatever it is. It works with your Scorch. It works with a uh, Life Seal. Uh, you get two charges, and this is almost kind of like the Armamentarium for the Warlocks. It takes a really strong ability, especially for uh, PvP. And PvP Warlocks have uh, arguably the best melees. And uh, it just gives you, it lets it stack twice, which is extremely useful, especially if you're using like Scorch and you're using it with like a Flame Shield, so you can use that to uh, keep your Flame Shield up. Uh, really good with Thunderstrike, because Thunderstrike is one of those extremely powerful melee abilities that has a ton of range. And uh, it's, uh, it's not bad for uh, PvE as well. Though I say its strengths uh, really lie in PvP. If you like using your Warlock's melee ability in a PvP, definitely consider this, especially since Iron Banner is coming next week. And this is really good for uh, competitive uh, players in, um, in PvP. So yep, if you're a uh, PvP um, Warlock, then you should definitely buy these. No weapon, but we get a Helmet Engram this week. So this is your chance to get something like, I don't know, Helm of Saint-14... Uh, maybe uh, you can get something like, oh, the Ram, you know, something like that. I think you all know the uh, score by now. You know how it works. Uh, also, we have Legacy Engrams for 29 coins apiece this week. It is for Gauntlets. So if you want to get like your uh, Feedback Fence or your Kepri Sting or your uh, Sunbreakers, this is, uh, this is your chance to get them. Glass Needles, three coins, three motes, one shard. Three of coins, you can get seven. Um, you can get five of them rather for seven coins, and of course, heavy ammo sense. Three packs for a uh, one coin. And as I said before, the Iron Banner is coming back next week, and Bungie has announced what kind of gear we can expect to get this time. Also, they announced the game mode, and this week, or rather this month, it is going to be Clash. Yep, Clash, not Control. Clash, which is uh, just basic standard uh, 6v6 uh, team deathmatch. Well, at least it's not Rift, but uh, yeah, I don't understand why it can't just always be Control. I understand they want to mix it up, but I think for something like Iron Banner, uh, Control is the best game mode, but no, we're getting Clash this time. As for rewards, at rank 3 we are getting Iron Banner Gauntlets. And uh, yes, there will be a uh, separate set for uh, the PlayStation. Uh, I imagine they'll have the exact same roles. Bungie didn't uh, announce what the roles were. I guess we'll find that out on uh, Tuesday. But uh, they did announce that we will be getting gauntlets at rank 3. So yeah, definitely expect those. I've seen some uh, screenshots of them. I really like the um, PlayStation exclusive uh, gauntlets for the uh, Titan. I'll have to consider picking those up. So uh, that should be pretty sweet. At rank 4, we will get the Iron Banner Helmet. I think they did this like two Iron Banners ago, and uh, now they're bringing them back. So if you missed out uh, last time, this is your chance to uh, get them. Also, at uh, rank 4, we will be unlocking the Sniper Rifle. I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but we will be unlocking the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle, which I'm sure some of you are excited about. I think one of you uh, mentioned in uh, my uh, comment section about how you were hoping it was... Uh, going to be the sniper rifle and uh, I guess looks it looks like uh, your dreams are coming true man <laughs> uh, Lord Saladin heard your uh, heard your wish and he made it happen and uh, rank 5 and this is interesting at rank 5 we will be getting the rocket launcher and again I don't know what the name of it is uh, I'm not sure what it's called and I know what the and I don't know what the role is but we will finally be getting the iron banner rocket launcher I don't know if I've ever seen anyone with this thing before it's pretty distinctive looking but uh, yep that's uh, what uh, we can expect oh and uh, Bungie also mentioned in their update they were considering maybe bringing the new matchmaking settings the uh, more uh, connection based rather than skill based settings with the uh, damage referee or whatever it is that new thing they've been implementing in PvP they've been thinking 
not confirming, but thinking about bringing that over to Iron Banner, and I certainly hope they do, because Iron Banner is one of those things that can be really infuriating. It can bring out some of the worst parts of Destiny, and not, and I think the improvements, at least I feel like um, the changes that they've made to PvP uh, recently, uh, they've been uh, for the good. Uh, I haven't been seeing too much lag, I haven't been seeing as many people um, avoiding damage or you know, just teleporting around on the map and everything. I, it seems like uh, things are a bit more balanced. They're a bit more stable, more predictable, uh, more reliable. And I would like to see that in the Iron Banner. So yeah, I hope that's uh, something they make happen. But yeah, that just about does it for uh, this video. Also, what are your opinions on Iron Banner? Do you like uh, the game mode? Do you like the gear we're being offered? Let me know in the comments section. I try to reply to as uh, many different people as I can. Uh, and don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoy the video or you found it helpful or informative in any way. Uh, your support means a lot to me. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.